my dear sisters and brothers in Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of the Epiphany of our Lord. The meaning of the Greek word Epiphania is manifestation or appearance. This feast is also known as Theophany or the Three Kings Day. This day marks the visit of the wise men from the east to see Jesus, who was born in Bethlehem. It is known as Epiphany since Jesus is manifested to peoples outside the tribe of Israel for the first time. This event reveals that Jesus would be a universal king for all who seek the truth and not just that of one tribe or one nation. The revelation of Christ to the Gentiles is in fulfillment of the prophecies in the scriptures. Prophet Isaiah says, Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. In this way, Epiphany is the mystery of light, symbolically suggested by the star that guided the Magi on their journey. Here, we also see that the light from the manger of Bethlehem is already beginning to remove the darkness of the world as it has reached the east. The wise men were wise enough to seek the wisest of all by analyzing the signs of the times. By following the star in the sky, they reached the source of all light. They also received the light of faith from their reading of the scriptures, even though they were Gentiles. The men of the world can come to know Christ through their human wisdom if they sincerely seek the truth. The wise men are also representing all the future followers of Christ outside of Israel. Thus God gave all of us the opportunity to see, touch, and experience the Son of God in flesh and blood. What a great blessing, opportunity, and privilege to all of us. So no one should be afraid to approach God and also to proclaim the message of this King to the rest of the world. God does not abandon anyone, but would like to embrace everyone. The wise men of the present world must open their hearts and minds to Christ in order to offer Him their gifts of wisdom and knowledge. The light of Christ is the splendor of the truth and the source of all wisdom. Like the stars which led the Magi to the manger, we should lead the men and women of today to Christ through our light. As people who already encountered this light, our life witness must be the light for others to reach Christ. The star 
was seen by everyone but not everyone understood its meaning Jesus was born for everyone but not everyone was willing to accept or acknowledge him As Christians we are called to make Christ's light shine in the world through our words and deeds let the light of Christ continue to spread and let the light from Bethlehem remove the darkness of the world today through all those who want to reflect it